Menhaden, not just a stinky fish. Hi, I'm Tim Del Grosso from Point Lookout. I want to tell you a quick story about a fish most Americans have never heard of. A bunker, real name, Menhaden. That's us on the boat right there out fishing for striped bass. We go out often in November, try and catch as many striped bass as we can, one per person per day. You see, over the last 10 years, it was hard to catch a striped bass in this area. Long Beach, you'd be lucky if you caught a few short striped bass. You'd be extremely lucky to catch a keeper. This year, we limited every day. Every day we went fishing, we came back with the proper size striped bass, one per person, every time we went. Why? Menhaden, the stinky little fish nobody gives any credit to. You wouldn't want to eat it. It's oily. It's gross. There's no reason to catch a Menhaden. But Bunker, Menhaden, attract other animals, attract other mammals to our area. Just last week, I was on the boardwalk in Long Beach. People coming up to me randomly and asking me, why are there so many whales out here? This is amazing. Do you always get whales? I looked at one lady. I said, did we always get whales? No. Right here in this area, when I was a kid, I was dodging hypodermic needles right off the shore right here. 20 years later, humpback whales. There's one. Why? Why are humpback whales coming here? The answer is Menhaden, bunker fish, the stinky fish, the one nobody gives any credit to. They are the most intricate, the most intricate and most important fish in the sea. The bottom of the food chain, Menhaden. Who eats it? Blue fish, striped bass that you see right there, sea turtles, birds. Most importantly, the coolest thing that you can see around this area, humpbacks. There's another one right there. While out on election day, we ran into this bait ball, we call it. Huge bait ball, miles long. Went from Point Lookout all the way into central Long Beach. If you look on the top of the screen there on the left, that's the Long Beach Water Tower. The Long Beach Boardwalk is right below it. The shore. We're only a mile offshore, and we're running into humpback whales. There's another one. All because of the stinky fish, Manhattan. Humpback whales in this area. You know, talking to some of my elders, whales of all kinds, humpbacks, mink whales, finback whales, they used to come to Long Beach and stay for four seasons, you could see them, in the summer, spring, winter, and fall. Right now, we're getting them in the winter, all because of the stinky fish. They are coming back to feed, to feed here, just like you see on National Geographic, like you see, you know, in Alaska. Humpback whales go and feed, killer whales go and feed. They're coming for food. Look at all that food in the water. Those are all Menhaden. Why are they here? Because they haven't been over harvested this year. Last year, there were limits set on the conservation limits on Menhaden so that people with nets couldn't go and just catch them all put them through grinders because they're stinky little not important fish put them through grinders and feed them to chickens put them through uh what, however they extract the oil from them that's omega-3 oil it's, a lot of people take those pills a lot of people need those pills that's fine take a few you don't need to take nets and bait balls full of menhaden out of our ocean so that the bottom of our food chain's gone. We need Menhaden. We need them here in this ocean. We need them in Long Beach so that guys like me can go out and catch fish for fun. I don't, I don't do this for a living. Some people listening to this right now do. They'd be a lot more angry than I am about Menhaden, or happy, I should say, about Menhaden and what's happening right now. Look at all these fish in the water. This is incredible. This is National Geographic type stuff. All because us humans, that was a cool one, all because us humans didn't screw it up this time. We're letting the bottom of the ecosystem thrive. When you let the bottom of the ecosystem thrive, the top thrives too. But if the bottom's gone, then they're not gonna, these animals aren't gonna come here. Striped bass aren't gonna come. Bluefish aren't gonna come. You're not gonna catch anything out in these waters. Like basically what happened to me all through the 90s. You know, you go out and you catch a couple bluefish here and there. You catch a few short striped bass here and there. This year, this November, this December, epic, epic amounts of striped bass in these waters, Long Beach, one mile, one mile from the shore. There's a guy in a kayak right there. I mean, he put his kayak in probably on Riverside Boulevard, and he kayaked out to see the, 
the whales, maybe has a fishing pole, I don't know. We were on the boat way back here, but you can see miles and miles and miles of Menhaden. All the way from the Lido water tower, which you see on the top right of your screen, all the way down past the Long Beach water tower. Anywhere you went, you saw bait balls, mile long bait balls, Menhaden fish, thriving in our area. And you know what? Here's the result. My brother, two nice striped bass, we brought them home, filleted them, we ate them for dinner that night. Like I said, I've been fishing out here my whole life. We've never caught striped bass like this. It's been an epic year, all because of the conservation of Menhaden. Conservation, it works. Give it a chance and it works. We're seeing this year the result of last year's conservation. To those that started the conservation efforts, thank you. Anybody else willing to help? Spread the word. Let the general public know your feeling on the conservation of Menhaden. Help us pass the word along that we don't want these fish to disappear as chicken food or as omega-3 pills. Let's help each other out. Spread the word. Good luck, guys. If you need to get in touch with me, my email's right on the screen there. God bless. Take care.